Now, more and more golfers are turning to one of these to give them feedback on their play. It's a portable launch monitor, and I have five of the leading models here that I'm going to test on the range at the London Club. They all come in under $600, so relatively affordable within the launch monitor category. So I'm going to test all five of these portable launch monitors to really put them through their paces, understand the pros and cons for each, so you can understand which one might be right for you. So in no particular order, the first portable launch monitor I'm going to talk about is this PRGR portable launch monitor. And this is actually the cheapest one within this test, comes in around $230. And this is the model that you go for if you just want simplicity. It's very easy to use, doesn't have to pair with an app or anything. It all kind of works within the device itself. The data metrics are fairly limited. You only get club speed, ball speed, splash factor, uh, carry and total distance. So you're not getting other parameters that some golfers look for like spin or any club data or anything like that, but it's very easy to use. Just place it sit six feet behind the ball like that, hit away and it will give you an audible uh, sound when it's registered a shot and it will display the data on the screen. And what I like about this is um, the data's actually been pretty good. It's been pretty reliable. It missed the occasional shot, but generally speaking, the numbers matched up to where I was expecting them to be. And you can use it without a ball as well. So if you're working on speed training in your swing, looking to get more club head speed, you can make some swings without a drop, without a ball, and it'll give you that club speed data there at the top. So it's very simple to use. You can also scroll through the last 500 shots using the arrows um, on here, which is again, useful if you wanna, it doesn't necessarily store the data elsewhere, but if you wanna look through your session, you can scroll through uh, and see the different shots that you hit and the various numbers that correlate with those. So if you're after simplicity, decent feedback on your shots, this is the one to go for. Next up, we have the Rapsodo mobile launch monitor. It comes in just under $600, and it works in conjunction with your phone, which sits in this little uh, slot here to track the ball flight and give you all the numbers that you need. I really like the app, it's really easy to use. You can align the orientation of this Rapsodo really easily. And the thing I really like about the Rapsodo is that it will video your swing, obviously, because you put it eight feet behind the ball and it uses your phone. It benefits from having that camera available to record your swing and also impart a shot tracer on your shots and from the testing I've done that shot tracer graphic has been pretty accurate in terms of reflecting draws, fades, pulls, pushes. It's been pretty accurate and I think that's that's a testament to how good this technology is within this device. Obviously the fact it's reliant on using your phone is a bit of a bummer, it means it drains your battery on your phone and things like that but the app's really good obviously when you finish your session you get a really good table that shows you all your shots that you hit. It's really easy to change clubs as well. You can even hover the club in front of the phone. It will change, it automatically recognize the club and change it for you uh, without having to touch the screen. I think any time you're having to bend down and touch the screen lots of times is a bit of a faff. So the fact that you don't have to do that here is good. Um, so really impressed with this. You get some nice ball flight graphics on the, on the dispersion chart, which shows you where the shots finish. And the numbers have been really good, really comparable with um, what I was expecting to be. But we've got an accuracy test later, so do watch out for that. Um, it's not to be missed. So overall, very positive experience with the Rapsodo mobile launch monitor. So the only things I don't really like about it is the fact that it is reliant on using your phone and it's not compatible with Android devices. So that does isolate a few people from benefiting from this technology. But all in all, it's a very impressive package. Next, we have the Flightscope Mevo. And as you can see, this device is incredibly compact. It's barely bigger than a couple of golf balls. And that is part of the appeal of this package, I think. Very portable. It comes with a cool carry case uh, that you can store it in your bag and take it wherever you go. It just you use this little pop-out stand here and place it eight feet behind the ball and you are good to go. Pairs with an app, pretty easy to do. The lighting system on the top is a bit confusing, but with practice, you soon get the hang of how that works. Provides a nice audible ready um, voiceover so you know when it's ready to hit. And generally speaking, the experience is pretty passive with this device. It tracked uh, the shots pretty well. I'd say it probably actually missed more shots than some of the other devices in this test, which is a little disappointing. And the app experience could definitely be improved. It's a little bit buggy in certain screens, um, but it gives you really good data. So eight different data parameters, including the all important spin number, which some of the devices don't offer. So in terms of the feedback you're getting, um, it is pretty good but I think it did miss more shots than I was hoping for. It does offer a video function as well of, by partnering with your phone. You are able to get a video playback on swings depending on where you position your phone. So that's a really kind of big tick in the box for this Flightscope Mevo. All in all, really enjoyed my experience with the Flightscope Mevo. You can use it inside and out and in a net. If you do use it in a net, you have to put stickers on a ball, which is a little bit frustrating. And along with the app experience as well, it was a little bit underwhelming in certain areas, but in terms of ease of use and um, getting some pretty good data from your shots and what seemed to be relatively accurate, the Flightscope Mevo was pretty impressive.
Next up, we have the Garmin Approach R10. Comes in at $600, but for that, you get an awful lot for your money. It comes with this little tripod that magnetically attaches to the back of the device. Place it 10 feet behind the ball and swing away. Pair it with the Garmin app, and you get access to more data parameters than any other of these portable launch monitors, including this test. So you get an awful lot of ball data, you get also a lot of club data as well. So if you're looking for extra insights into your ball performance and club performance, this is probably the one to go for. It has a really intuitive app, lots of cool screens that show ball flight tracers and dispersion charts, and also some club head graphics to show exactly what the face angle and the path is doing in your swing. And the numbers have been pretty good as well. But there's some extra features that kind of make the R10 stand out, I think, from a lot of the devices in this test. The main one being the Home T Hero. So pay a small monthly subscription fee, you get access to this feature, which is essentially a home simulator. So you can play your home course on the range and it's kind of like a charming arcade style graphics that pop up when you're hitting the shots, but it's been pretty realistic, pretty true to life based on the ball flights that you hit and how they input those on the screen of your home course. So it's quite cool if you struggle with certain holes or you just want to have more realistic warm up session before you go out and play on your course, use that home teeth hero feature. It just adds an awful lot of value to this Garmin approach R10. So I've really thoroughly enjoyed using it. And last but by no means least is the uh, Swing Caddy SC300i. And as you can see, it's one of the more substantial units on this test. It's got a bit more weight to it, but the fact that it is a bit larger means you get a larger screen, which displays the various data points that it offers. And it's got a little flip kind of pop out thing there that which you use to rest it behind the golf ball. And what's cool about this device is it will, there's a couple of things. The first being it will give you uh, an audio playback of your carry distance, so it will tell you exactly how far you've hit it. So you haven't got to bend down and look at the screen if you don't want to. And it comes with this handy remote control, which you're able to alter the club um, selection. You can also change the loft of the club to give you more accurate uh, distances and, and change the settings where you need to. So that's cool. Again, it eliminates the need for, for bending down, things like that. And it does pair with an app which enables video features to be incorporated into the experience, and it'll give you spin numbers if you pair it with the app as well. The app isn't great. I don't think the data displays in necessarily a great user-friendly way, but in terms of um, the, the device itself and using the remote function to change the settings and not having to bend down and, and really not interrupt your rain session like some devices do, this is an excellent product. And for $500, again, I think you're getting a lot for your money. Okay, so we've run through the five different portable launch monitors in a little bit of detail, but now we're going to conduct the ultimate accuracy test, get them all firing at the same time on the same shot on the range and use a laser rangefinder to see which one is the most accurate. Right, okay, so for the ultimate accuracy test, as you can see, I have all five launch monitors set up here in front of me. Also got my full swing kit launch monitor as more of a comparison to a premium launch monitor. And we have Dan down there lurking in the bushes. He's gonna see exactly where the ball carries. They're gonna use my range finder to zap exactly how far it carries and then see how the distances compare. We're obviously assuming that the Bushnell laser is the most accurate measurement of distance. I've got the slope function enabled as well to make it a bit more realistic. So let's hit a shot and then we'll see what the distances are and how they compare. Okay, so there's Dan with the slope, went 179 yards without the slope, 175. We've got 169 on the Flightscope Mevo. We've got 177 on the Garmin R10. We've got 164 on the PRGR, 164 on the uh, Swing Caddy SC300i, and 178 on the Rapsodo, and 179 on the full swing kit. So, full swing kit was about right. Looks like Rapsodo's edging it so far. Let's hit a couple more and see if we get any changes in the distances and find out which one's most accurate. Okay, so I finished my testing session here with these portable launch monitors and my 7 and I can confirm Dan has returned from the range safe and sound um, with helping me out using the, the range finder to back up three different shots with my 7 iron and see how these distances compare. And there were some key takeaways that I had. I've got all the data here in front of me and it was interesting. The first thing I would say is that 
you seem to get what you pay for with launch monitors. Having this full swing kit launch monitor as a comparison with these, um, this comes in at around four and a half thousand dollars. You do seem to get what you pay for because those distances on the full swing kit were more comparable with what we got on the rangefinder. So that'd be my first takeaway. The second takeaway is how much the numbers did jump around quite a lot. There were some big discrepancies in some of the numbers. For example, the flight scope was significantly under on quite a few shots. You know, there were certain shots that ranged from 179 yards to 164 yards on the first shot, for example. So uh, it was jumping around a bit, but my kind of takeaway would be there were a couple that really stood out for accuracy. The first was the Garmin Approach R10. That seemed to tally quite significantly well with the, uh, the rangefinder. I'll flash up all the data on the screen now so you can see exactly how the different um, launch monitors compared. And the other one that worked pretty well was the Rapsodo, actually. That, the numbers were pretty tight versus what we were getting on the rangefinder. The, the, the Fort Flight Scope Mevo was significantly under on every shot, which was interesting. Um, and the Swing Caddy also was a little bit under. Um, and the PRGR also was a bit under. So five different devices, all were pretty good. Most of them were slightly under, but there were some that seemed to be better than others. Also, I'm only hitting seven iron. Um, it's not the perfect test, I agree. Perhaps the position of the launch monitors might have affected some of the data and the accuracy, but as a, as a guide, I think you could say, that based on this accuracy test, it was the Rapsodo and the Garmin Approach R10 that really stood out. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and it's given you an idea about which portable launch monitor under $600 might be right for you. But now it's time to pick my favorite and it was a tough call because I've got two which I really like, I think we're head and shoulders above the rest. And they were the Garmin Approach R10 and the Rapsodo mobile launch monitor. And if, if I was pushed for my favorite, it probably would be the Garmin Approach R10. Um, I love the versatility, I love the data parameters that you get from it. And I think the, the, the app experience along with the Home T Hero simulator really justifies the price tag that it comes in. And we saw with the accuracy test that this was one of the leading models in terms of um, giving me distances that were comparable with what the laser rangefinder was telling me. So all in all, this is my overall favorite. The Rapsodo pushed it very close because of that shot tracer feature and how accurate that was as well. But the Garmin R Pro, the Approach R10 for me, just pipped it. So that's that's it. That's my favorite portable launch monitor. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do comment down below. Tell me which one you're most excited to try or, or did you agree with what we went through with this test? Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it interesting and a little entertaining as well. And do um, like hit the like button if you like this video. But that's all from me from the London Golf Club. I'll see you next time.